Hey guys, Joshua Zamora here from ZamoraiBlogger.com. Just wanted to put together a quick video and talk to you a little bit about SEO and what exactly it is and how it all operates. Uh, now, SEO stands for Search Engine Optimization, for those of you that don't know, and it's just referred to as SEO for short. But uh, basically, SEO is the process of optimi optimizing your website to show up at the top of Google particular keywords people are looking for. Okay, so it's, well, whenever you go to Google and you type in uh, any, any search phrase, let's say you're looking for how to cure uh, cancer or how to play golf, those keywords that you're typing in uh, is what allows Google to display the most relevant the most relevant results uh, so the 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 art of getting your website to show up as one of the first few results when someone types in how to play golf uh, that is the process of SEO being able to have your website show up in the first top few results when it comes to people searching for that particular keyword and there's a very simple three-step process that goes into SEO and getting your website ranked at the top of Google, okay? And the first part is keyword research and competition analysis, all right? You can't start an effective SEO campaign without knowing your target keywords and the competition that you're going to be going up against, okay? And it, keyword research is a skill that can be learned, uh, and once you master that skill, it's something that will allow you to really... Uh, cash in and and uh, dominate Google because going after the correct keywords from the beginning uh, is what's really going to help you uh, get the traffic and that, get the sales and get the business uh, from your website showing up in Google. So um, it, like I said, it is a skill, but it's something that definitely needs to take some practice and, and some proper guidance on how to uh, pick out keywords and how to analyze your competition. Uh, so if you want more information on keyword research, I'll actually put a link right below this video uh, where you can get access to a video where I will walk you through exactly how I do keyword research and competition analysis when it comes to uh, starting an SEO campaign. So if you want more information on that, click on the link that's going to be right below this video and uh, you'll be able to access that additional training. Uh, but keyword research is, uh, it, like I said, it's a skill and it's something that it's the, the primary thing that you wanna do before ever starting any kind of SEO on any website. And uh, there's a few things that you wanna keep in mind when uh, targeting the proper keyword. Number one, uh, you wanna target keywords that people are actually searching for. So in the video that, that uh, you can get access to at the link below this video, I'll go into more on how, how, how and where to go to find keywords people are looking for and uh, competition. And, and uh, the other thing is when it comes to keywords is, uh, okay, so number one, you want to make sure people are searching for that keyword. Number two, you want to make sure that there's uh, low levels of competition. And that goes into the competition analysis side of things. Uh, so not only do you want to know that people are searching for, you want to know how long it's going to take you to get to the first page of Google. All right. Uh, and also you want to make sure that it's keywords that are targeted. All right. Meaning that when, so when someone types that word into Google and they land on your website because of that keyword, you want to make sure that that keyword has some kind of action based behind it. So are people looking for a review of a particular product? Are they looking for a particular specific model type of product? Are they looking for a specific service? So if you're able to get really specific on the keywords you target, the, the likeliness of an action being taken once someone lands on your site increases dramatically. So you really wanna get targeted traffic from targeted keywords okay so if you are in the um, let's say real estate business all right you want to make sure that all the keywords that are bringing traffic to your website are around real estate or the business that you are in all right uh, the second step is on page SEO okay and basically what this means is once you have your keywords um, 
you want to optimize your website for those particular keywords. So you want to make sure the content on your site matches the keywords that you're targeting and it's properly optimized for those keywords. Uh, you want to make sure that your meta title and meta description it contains your keywords. Uh, you want to make sure your URLs contain your keywords. And uh, your, you want to make sure that your loading speed, that the, 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 the quicker your website loads, the better it is for SEO and the better it is for the users that will be landing on your website. Uh, so those are just a few of the things that you want to make sure you check off when it comes to on-page SEO is uh, you want to make sure that the content on your site is not only relevant to the to the keywords that will be bringing in the, the, the traffic, but that it's going to help the person that's coming onto your website looking for the information. So you want to make sure that you're providing top-notch quality content that, that's not only going to help the user, uh, but that it's optimized for the keywords you're targeting. Okay. Uh, so those are just a few things when it comes to on-page SEO. Uh, so that's the second ingredient for a good SEO effective campaign. Uh, the last thing is off-page SEO. Okay, and this has changed quite a bit over the last few years because Google has been making a lot of changes to their algorithm. Okay, so off-page SEO is something that you want to take uh, take uh, be very careful with because if you do it incorrect, uh, then you can send your website all the way down to not even existing in Google. So uh, number one is backlinks, all right? And backlinks is basically getting other websites to link to you, uh, to your website. And uh, every time that happens, it's like someone voting for your website that uh, your website is relevant for the information that you're providing. And this all ties into your keyword research as well. So let's say there's a website that's linking to you um, and the content on that website is around real estate and then your site is about real estate. So the fact that you're having a relevant website linking to you is telling Google, hey, uh, this guy's website is, uh, is relevant because there's other websites that are starting to link to him. So this, that means that um, you know, people are basically voting for your website that it is relevant for that information. Uh, the other thing is social signals. All right. Uh, over the last year to two years, social signals has have really taken on a strong presence when it comes to SEO, uh, because this means that Google wants to see that people are sharing your information on their social networks. So if people are doing that, that means that your information is relevant, your information is helpful, and your information is good enough to, for people to want to share. So. Um, and those are just a few things when it comes to off pages. Yo, trust me, there's a lot more that goes into that. Um, but if you click on the link below this video, I'll get you started with the keyword research and get you started with the first component. And uh, I'm also, I'll also go ahead and start putting in some more advanced training so that you can really learn how to master SEO. Um, but yeah, you know, these. this is the major uh, three things that you want to make sure you are doing when you get started on an effective search engine uh, optimization campaign. All right, so what I want to do right now is basically just go to Google and just show you guys just a few things um, about, just so I can show you visuals about this. So let's say someone's looking for paddle boards, okay? If you notice, the first, let the, the first step is keyword research. So let's say you you did the keyword research and you found out that paddleboards is a good keyword for you to target. All right. If you see the majority of the results that come up in the top have the keyword in the title, have the keyword in the URLs, and have the keyword in the description. So when I said meta title, meta description, and and uh, the URLs, this is what I was referring to. Uh, the meta title and the meta description and the meta, um, well, the, your URLs is basically the information that shows up in Google. So this is this website's meta title and this is this website's meta description. Okay, and of course, this is their URL. All right, so you wanna make sure that you have your keyword in your title, in your domain, and in your 
in your description if 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 at all uh at the very least you want to have it in the title and the description because sometimes if you are if you have a a different domain where it's more of a brand domain then of course you wouldn't put your keyword in your in your domain but if it if you can in some way just like this you know this guy his his domain is paddleboard direct okay so um, you know that's 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 his brand so he was able to squeeze in paddleboard into his domain uh, so that's it I just wanted to quickly touch on this so you guys could just see the visual of how this works uh, but like I said if you click on the link that's gonna be right below this video you'll be able to get your hands on my uh, additional training which will go into a little bit more about keyword research and how you find those golden keywords to target and how you analyze the competition to see if it's uh, if it's a good idea to go after those keywords because sometimes the keywords are just way too competitive and it will take you a year to two years to ever even think about ranking for those keywords uh, and there's always you know additional keywords that will take less time to rank for so thank you guys for watching uh, click on the link that's going to be right below this video to get more information and i look forward to helping you master seo